What is up guys? This is Kent Ross here, East Down Aquatics, and I am back from the ALA. This weekend was a blast. I didn't get to go up for the auction on Sunday or the prep on Friday, but I got to go on Saturday where they had the big guppy show and I've got a video up on my channel right now. Go check it out. It's got all the tanks at the show. It was kinda hard to do the video because busy place, but anyway, go check it out. Uh, so what I what you're looking at right here is pretty much everything I brought back from the ALA. And I'm going to go into that in detail, but first I'm going to give you a gist of the thing. So we walk in to this nice fancy lodge place. Down the hall you've got the showroom, and then you exit the showroom and there's silent auctions everywhere, information desks, and all these rows of chairs, and there's different speakers that tell you about different stuff. I learned so much. I got to go to the nutrition and diet uh, speech. It was by Les Wilson of Cobalt International. Great company. Go check them out. Uh, I'm going to be working with them eventually to help uh, get them out there a little bit more. This guy has come from a big arena of fish, fish keepers and fish... Uh, supply industry and has started his own company and he just needs to get his name out there somebody helping him out a little bit throughout my channel but yeah he's a great guy he did a great speech on food different things he could have totally used it as an advertisement for his product but he didn't he recommended other products as well and he did a great job so yeah him and a bunch of other speakers were there there were there is also a vendor room on the other side of the building and we had places like Mark of Excellence Aquatics which had all these different uh, plants and stuff as you can see I have a lot more plants in here most of those are from Mark of Excellence so check them out Michigan Aquarium Society they put it on this year uh, open they used their funds and got it together and they pretty much put the whole thing on so thanks to them we had Proust Pets there up in Lansing, Michigan. Tons of fish they were uh, selling. It was great. Selling tons of different fish, showing them, everything. Uh, and then Cobalt International was there as well. And there was also a place from the Michigan Aquarium Society in ALA. Some places from the ALA, giving a, well, selling books and stuff. And then there were people selling fish in their rooms, like in the... Uh, rooms in the lodge like you stay for a hotel like stay in the hotel for a night or two uh, for the weekend it was $85 a night we did not do that because we can't drive and we had to get a carpool oh I was with Fort Wayne fish tanks that's why I keep saying we but yeah so we just went up for Saturday but anyways people were in their rooms selling fish they had like uh, lists on the door you go over you see the door it tells you what they have and their prices you knock on the door go on in they've got these big coolers full of bags of fish and stuff rice and everything uh... shout out to chase this is a different chase not the fort wayne fish tanks chase chase with spoon plugging sources he's he had a bunch of fish uh... he's gave me some well he sold me a bunch of formosas for only six dollars i got like five of them so i'll be showing those in a bit also shout out to matt from Michiana Aquarium Society uh, he gave me a bunch of stuff for free uh, hoboki gambusia hoboki uh, yeah melanistic gambusia hoboki or whatever they're called but they're awesome so now let's get into the tank and I'll explain everything so first we got sword from Mark of Excellence Aquatics um, this Java Moss was free from Michigan Aquarium Society. They were bagging up fish for the auction. I walk over. I was asking him about if they always use Java Moss for shipping. And he just, one of the guys just turned around and put a big clump of it in my hand. So, hey, if you take, if you get it for free, take it. Um, different crypts. I couldn't tell you what all of them are. I got this really tiny crypt here. It's really thin. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that's the crypt. The thin stuff. And then crypt over here too. 
and then the sword back there I already mentioned that's all from Mark of Excellence Aquatics got that all for 10 bucks great deal uh, Fort Wayne fish tanks got a big Anubius looking thing it was really sweet and then I've also uh, just to show what I already had in this tank I got this sword I've got the Java Moss up there my whatever's left of my refugium so I got the pothos plant or I forget what it's called what philodendrum yeah that so yeah that's up there some hornwort and hygrophilia and then corkscrew valve contortionist valve so yeah that's for the plants and now this is the awesome part gambusia habruki or haboki or something from matt Great fish, really awesome. It's a melanistic kind with the spots. I got some plain ones in there too. Um, the, there's some of the females are plain. This one there, uh, right there, that female is the melanistic as well. So I'm gonna be breeding them, seeing if I can get a good colony going, and sell them. So if you guys are interested, let me know, and I will uh, keep you in mind when I start selling if I get enough. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. And then I got Formosas, which I got a bunch of them. They're hard to see because they're so small. And you guys know I have form I had a Formosa before. So now I got her some friends. Yeah, there's one back there. Hard to see. They hide up in this Java moss too. Yeah, I'm looking. Oh, in the back. Back there, swimming around. Very hard to see. There we go. There, back there. Yeah, hard to see. Sorry about that, guys. But they're really small. They're going to get bigger and they're almost a breeding size, so then I'll have a ton of them because they don't eat their fry. Or at least they don't very often. But, yeah. So, ALA was great, guys. Definitely go next time. It's in South Bend this year. It'll go somewhere else next year. It tries to stay around the Midwest, but moves around. I uh, was in Grand Rapids two years ago. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I will definitely keep you guys updated on all these fish. Can't remember, this is the first time you've seen this tank. This is the new 10-gallon. I've got uh, Osmocot Plus on the bottom, uh, Floramax, Black Sand from Petco, and uh, Black Gravel all mixed together. So it's great for plants. I got a Coral Life T8 bulb right on top. Yeah, I'm not. I can't remember if you've seen this tank before. I've also got Ram's horns and Nearite and everything else that makes a tank great. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think of this tank and the fish in it, and definitely come to ALA next time. Adios.